Ah, oh, get out of my face. All right, let's put on this face and get rid of Medusa. <laughs> that was creepy. Papa Kala, Papa Kala. All right, hello, how are you? How's it going? Yes, 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 we're gonna do this. That was very motivational and I don't know why. Don't mind the demon residue. I just had an exorcism last night and things seem to be going well, but you know, there's always a little residue after an exorcism. It's just how it goes. Watch the movies. I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer just to put underneath my eyes. I love it. We know this, Nikki. Shut up. I just got this random beauty blender in the mail the other day. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I don't know who it's from. There was no note. There was no nothing. I mean, it came in a package, you know, so it was like legit. Someone didn't just send me their dirty ass beauty blender. <laughs> but, um,. I don't know where it came from. That happens a lot because of my product reviewing. I have my address hooked up to my Amazon account and things like that. So companies sometimes will just send me randoms. And you can never beat a new beauty blender. Never. Although I did get this like weird light cord, which I was just like, what the fuck? And I'm just going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting and I'm just going to put a couple stripes here and there. That's what I like to do. Kind of like I'm getting ready for war because that's what I feel like sometimes when I go on YouTube. <laughs> I got the eye of the tiger. Now know the rest of the song. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now this is in 2C3 Fresco. The problem with this is it's more of my, like, end of summer shade it's a little bit too dark so what I'm gonna do is go in with something so awesome I just got this in the mail recently and this is the body shops shade adjusting drops now these are for lightening your foundation I also have the drops for darkening your foundation which I don't know if I'll ever need these but it's really good to have on hand but these they are $20 a piece so they are cheaper than like the cover FX you know stuff like that but they work amazingly so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of this Estee Lauder on the back of my hand Ooh. or a lot of it whatever works and then I'm gonna take this and it's got a dropper so I just take a little bit here and I just drop it on into the foundation and then mix that around and it's perfection they these drops do run a little pink so also if you have a foundation that is a little orangey toned and you're not quite orange toned this will work perfect for you sounds like someone's farting oh it makes it the perfect shade too and then i just go in and it went from being an orange nasty mess to being perfection da -da 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 -da, perfection too much coffee just just too much coffee that's that's all i have to say about it you know we can move we can move past it i just can't tell you how happy i am with the body shops shade adjusting drops like they don't affect the foundation whatsoever like whatsoever I don't even know if maybe they make it better I'm not sure but I have oily skin and it doesn't affect that it doesn't affect it whatsoever. so bit the foundation what I use it just merely fixes the shade and I'm just like oh I am no longer going without these because I have so many foundations in my inventory that I can't use that I love that work the best for my skin because they don't match my skin. They're more like summer foundations. So now I'm just like, yup. Now I can finally use stuff in my inventory. So the body shop just saved my ass. All right, now I'm gonna go in and set this and I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics and this is the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder and I'm also going to use my Mikasa Powder Brush which I love. I just bought this, I bought it with my own monies. Yes, I did. I love it. It is the F100. It's so big, so fluffy, so amazing. But with the Estee Lauder and then using the It Cosmetics powder, which is very, very like, just goes everywhere. It makes a mess, but it's so good. It's so worth it. So I've been using that together and it's making my face look so good that my husband is even like, wow, your face looks flawless, which is not something he normally says because he doesn't care about makeup. So, you know, <laughs> Just don't breathe when you do this. That's all I gotta say. Don't breathe. I wish this powder didn't make such a mess, but it is so good. I really want to try the pressed version to see if it's the same. 
because if I could just get it not making the mess, I would be in heaven, you guys. All right, now it is brow time. I'm gonna take my Beauty Junkies brow brush and just brush out my hairs. Hope my camera's not click clickety clacketing. We know it likes to do that. Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure I hear it. Pretty sure you do too. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade first. And I'm just gonna really do the back of my eyebrows with this just to shape them. Been trying to figure out a good way to do my brows lately and I'm telling you there is no good way. It's just a cross your fingers and pray things go semi good. Well as always one brow looks okay at the end and the other one looks very sad and chunky. Sounds like me and my sister. Not calling her chunky. I'm the chunky one. Now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the perfect brow pencil. Love this. And I'm just going to do the front of my brows. Because I'm high maintenance. I like the front of my brows to look a little bit more natural. And this pencil does that. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And just set these bad wolf boys. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Just throw this on the lids, guys. Just toss it right in there. Now I'm going to go in with the single wet and wild shadow and what are you in? You are in cream brulee. Just a skin tone colored single shadow from wet and wild. Very very cheap and I'm going to use this to set my primer. I've actually been loving this single shadow for setting my primer. It works perfectly and it's so cheap. All right, now I'm going to be working with some Belfier eyeshadows today. I want to whip this bad boy back out because it's not getting enough love. And I'm going to go in with the shadow Toffee, which is just this color here, if you can see it. Who knows? I never know if I'm in frame or not. But I'm just going to go in with that and pop that in the transition area. Working it, working it, working it. I do have a 20% off code for Belfier eyeshadows. I do know that Nikki Tutorials just did a get ready with me using these as well as a couple of other YouTubers. So I'm really happy to see them getting the exposure they deserve finally. I do know that one, this side of my face might not look as pigmented as this side, but that's just because I can't figure out my lighting, not because I'm a total idiot. Now I'm going to go in lightly with persimmon here, which is just a little bit of a darker orange, just very lightly because this sucker is whew, pigmented. And I'm just going to go a little bit lower in the crease. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as usual and just put this down as a base for my lid because I'm gangster like that. That's right. Don't mess with all right, now I'm going to go in with the Belfair, Belfior, Belfior eyeshadow and pumpkin. And I'm just going to put that down across my whole lid. Just work with me. I'm trying to see if I can work something out here. Could be bad, could be good. This is just how we do. God, this eyeshadow! I'm like that girl on, um... Oh, what's that movie called with the minions? Like, it's so fluffy! How can you beat this pigmentation? And this is not sticking my finger in there like deep. Like, this is me patting the eyeshadow. Patting it. Like, good job. Like, pat on the back. Holy crap. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take this Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'm gonna go back in with Toffee here. Just lightly. And I'm just gonna go around the shadow to make sure that there's no harsh edges. Everything is blended in, looking nice. I know y'all may think I do my, my eyes kind of funky, but I just do what works. Now I'm gonna go in with Vanilla, which is just kind of like a soft, shimmery white. And I'm just going to pop that on the eyebrow highlights. Eyebrow bone for a highlight. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Precision Eyeliner mess up my eyeliner you know the norm all right because my elf eyeliner who moving because my elf eyeliner is almost gone so the wing is never really that black i'm gonna go in with the jesse girl eyeliner it's a felt tip so it's probably gonna mess some shit up but i'm just gonna go in with this to darken up that wing 
Yes, I know my wing liner is like jacked up, but we just don't care because we're going to go with some eyelashes and you'll barely be able to tell. So that's another good tip. You fudge it up, just go in with some big old lashes and no one will even tell. I'm going to go in with the Kiss 11 lashes and just pop these bad boys on so we can get past this. You know it's a bad eyelash day when you're sweating, just trying to get one on. Just stay where you're put and no one will get hurt. Alright, while we're waiting for those eyelashes to dry, I'm going to go in with some concealer. Concealer. I'm going to go in with the Fit Me from Maybelline. This is such a good concealer. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just because it's a lighter shade. So it'll brighten up the inner corner a little bit more. And I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. Blend it out. Alright, then I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. My foot is asleep because I'm sitting on it. And I mean asleep. It hurts. I'm going to go in with the Volturvu. Volturvu. I don't know. But this is their Le Jolie Crayon. It's just like a smudge eyeliner. I absolutely love this. I got this in chocolate. What is so great about it is it does come with the eyeliner itself, but it also comes with a really nice smudge tip at the other end. And it comes with a bomb sharpener. Like I've been using this obviously for a lot of things. My eyebrow pencil, everything, because it sharpens perfectly. So love these I will leave this down below if you guys are interested as far as I know they have it in black and chocolate but I'm sure they probably have other choices this stays in the waterline all day I love this so I'm gonna go in and just line my waterline Then I'm gonna go back into toffee here in the Belfier eyeshadows and I'm just gonna run that underneath the eyeliner you know with a weird awkward open mouth motion you guys can't do it right unless you make the weird old faces now I'm going to take this Beauty Widgets, it's their 45 liner, I love it, and I'm going to go into this beautiful shade, I'm not even kidding, it's so beautiful, it's called Peacock, ah. and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyeliner, and I'm going to bring it up equal to the liner, eyeliner, liquid liner, hopefully. Did that make sense? But I'm just going to bring it up to that liner and kind of make it a double eyeliner. I've been doing this with Pops of Colors, and I've been loving it. Nothing too dramatic. Just a little flare. Now I'm going to go back in with Vanilla and just use this as an inner corner highlight. Very lightly. Maybe not so lightly. All right, now I'm going to go in with my Icely Rose Mascara, and I'm just going to blend those falsies and then do my bottom lashes because I can only do my bottom lashes with this anymore because I love it so much. I love how this little precise mascara wand gets so close into my lower lashes. I love this. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soule, and I'm not so much contouring as just kind of, I don't even know bronzing I don't know what to call it I mean it's like contouring but I'm not really looking for that totally sharp edge because I don't have real contour powder now I'm gonna use my Mikasa blush brush hey Indy dandy and I'm gonna go in with Max Melba I love this lately I've just been using it constantly and I'm gonna put this on the backs of my cheeks first well, only. I'm not really going to put it anywhere else besides the backs of my cheeks. I don't know where I was going with that. Don't ask. I got the snot. Oh, I don't want to mess up my makeup. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the Model Company blush. And this is in Peach Bellini. Very, very pretty. I'm just going to lightly tap my... Ooh, too much. Lightly tap. And then I'm going to go across the apples of my cheeks with this. Love this blush so freaking much. Ugh. Then I'm going to go in with Benefit's Sunbeam. And I'm just going to put this down kind of like a, a highlighting base. Very lightly. Just a little highlighter base. So I'm going to go in with Becca's Opal. And then I'm just going to go over top of that Benefit Sunbeam. 
Then I'm going to go in with the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner, and this is in 07 Brandy, and I'm just going to line my lips. Then I'm going to go in with the Milani Amore Matte Lip, and what are you in? Adorable. It's adorable. And then I'm going to go over top of that, I know, excessive, with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and Instable. I just kind of want to get a little bit more uses out of these before I have to toss them. I'm just going to focus that right in the middle. And then so my lips don't look like dried prunes, I'm going to go over top of that with the Buxom Lip Gloss, and this is in White Russian. This is a really good universal gloss to use. And then I'm going to go in with the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and just finish off this look. And this is the final look. I know the lip might be a little bit too dark or a little bit too much for some of you. You guys can just switch it up with like a really light nude cream cup from MAC. That could be another alternate too. I might even change my lip to cream cup from MAC. I'm not sure, but this looks good just as well. You know, pick and choose whatever works for you, whatever you like to wear. There are no rules. I hope you guys enjoyed this and the little pop of color that you can throw underneath your waterline and it can just spice up any just kind of plain neutral look. It can really make it just into something very pretty and kind of like a day to night look. You know, keep it neutral during the day, put that pop of color at night and you got a whole different look going for you. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave everything that I use in the description box for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you want to see next. Bye.